Hi everybody, just wanted to show you a little bit more about my quilting system that I have set up and how it benefits the customer in the end. Uh, first of all, you'll see that I have a net for my batting and therefore it's not dragging on the floor. I'm not trampling over it when I'm going side by side with the um, long arm and most of all, it's not getting lint, dirt, threads, that sort of thing in it. And see, it's just held in a net underneath the long arm here and that keeps it nice and clean and, and ready to go for when it's ready to be incorporated into the quilt top. So that's how that works. And yes, I store my batting right underneath my long arm here. And again, it's off the floor, it's ready to roll. So there we go. And another neat thing that you probably have got a glimpse of are these side clamps. And I really like these side clamps. Um, these cables, a lot of times uh, people will have cables like this, but instead of a hook, they like to have a clamp here and they're actually using that clamp onto the quilt itself right here. And that puts three points on the quilt that basically stretches it, just those three points. And you can imagine the, um, the quilt's already kind of fragile anyway. We're trying to get it sandwiched together to stabilize it. And that, even though it's just the backing, it's pulling it in those points. And as you move and advance the quilt along, um, those points all along the quilt are being pulled and stretched, at least this way. You've got an even distribution of pressure all along this path here. And that way it's pulling at the same rate at each all along here, instead of just points here and point there and point here. So it's really, really nice to have that. And um, with these cables, I'm able to tension it properly. If I do it too tight, then they will actually come off. So it's nice to have that safeguard to know that, that I've got it tensioned properly and that I'm not gonna have a trampoline in here while I'm trying to work on your quilt. So that's fabulous. And um, what a beautiful quilt I have here. And I just wanna thank that. So there you go, kind of see it from the other side. And a couple of things on the machine itself. Um, you've noticed Handy Quilter has the glide foot and that really helps for when you're going over multiple seams and you've got, um, like in this quilt, we've got a little bit of tinting right here where you've got some seams coming together and maybe not always perfect, but you know what, that's okay. Um, that glide foot will go right over that and it will look fabulous. So um, that's what the glide foot is for, is to kind of help even out those seams as it's sewing over them. Also, you'll notice I have a black light back here. I don't currently have it on because I'm not really sewing with white, but if I were sewing with white, I would be marking with white chalk if I needed to, and then I would use that black light to see the white chalk. And that way I don't have to mark with a blue pen or some other color on the white fabric and hoping that it actually comes out. Uh, so that way it's a lot safer. And I've also got a horizontal spool up here, which will tell you that I'm gonna start playing with some specialty threads and um, see how we can get those to behave. So I'll let you know how that, that progresses. But I'm um, pretty excited so far about some of the options that we have here so that you, your quilt is quilted without too much lint or debris that's incorporated from the floor, from the batting, and that um, we keep it nice and clean, ready to go home.